I am so gonna get my history teacher. What's your problem? Nothing, I just have to do a history project on how new nations emerged. Well, look, I have an A in history, so I can help you. How? Well, first, do you have any notes? Like, I have them here on my laptop. Hmm, these are good notes, Dakota. Look, here's an idea. Go home and sleep. I promise you something will happen. If you say so, Risa. Hello. Um. Who are you? I'm a Sikh. A Sikh? Yes, a member of an Indian religious minority. Come with me. Okay. So, where are we? Kashmir. You see those people over there? Yeah. And see those people over there. Yeah. See, people here wanted to be part of Pakistan and India. Oh. However, Kashmiri separatists supported Pakistan militants and kept fighting Indian troops. So they accepted Pakistan people, not Indians. Sadly, yes. But both India and Pakistan developed a nuclear weapon programs and we tested them successfully. But you two have been fighting for years. Isn't this dangerous? Yes, it is dangerous. Who are you? I'm Jawaharlal Nehru. Leader of the Congress Party and India's Prime Minister. Um, will you please step aside, please? Oh. People, enough with this nonsense. I have plans. India is going to be a modern nation. I will promote economic growth and social change. We'll also ban discriminations against Dalits or people in lowest castes. We shall set aside jobs and places for universities. <laughs> we got it from here. It's best if you go home. Okay. Who are you? Ferdinand Marcos. So let me guess, I touch your paw. Yes. What year is this? 1965. I'm president and I abandoned democracy. Didn't you also crack down basic freedoms and murder Bengino Aquino? Yes, but... But thanks to him for killing my husband, we need democracy! No, we don't. Actually, people do need democracy. Thank you! At least somebody has common sense. We want democracy! Give us democracy! You better give us to us now! You better give it now! Yeah! Ugh, all right, all right, I'll bring democracy. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Who are you two? The name is Kwame. And I am Joma. Come with us. Okay. Here we are in the 1950s. Africa has grown much stronger. We led independence in our own countries. That's good. Yes, in fact, 
Most African nations want independence through largely but peaceful means. Except European powers had some resources to resist the pressure of giving up the colonial empires, which made the struggle for freedom more violent. Yes, however, in a few colonies where large numbers of Europeans have settled, we have settled there too in Kenya and Algeria. Okay, you may head back to your generation. Thank you. Hello. You are... I'm Jewish, but come with me. Okay. So, where are we? Israel. You see, Britain supported Jewish homeland in part of Palestine mandate. And didn't the horrors of the Holocaust create strong support for you? Precisely. We migrated to Palestine after World War II. Let us go there, shall we? We shall. Oh, it's mixed with Jews and Arabs. I guess the UN wanted it to be a Jewish and Arab state. Well, it's fine, I guess. It is not fine. We have it. We can both have it. No. Whoa, whoa. Why can't you both have it? Because we had it first. You know what they say, find your keepers. Look, um, Dakota, is it? Yes. Let's just take the state of Israel. Good luck with that. Oh, you shut up! <laughs> Guys, stop it! Get out of our territory. Fine. So much for Palestine. Don't worry. We can make Israel our state. Workforces are settling up businesses, and kibbutzim pro produce crops for export. And look, there's some more trees coming. Okay. You need to head back home now. We got it from here. Alright. Dakota, you awake? I just had the strangest dream. But you know what? I think the dream can help me with my history project. Awesome! Mm-hmm. <laughs>